Hi guys, it's Jeff with Slavens Racing. And this video is about a, a product we picked up a couple months ago. That's the Galfer Oversized Front Brake Rotor Kit. This is made in Europe, very high quality. Galfer makes a lot of the brake rotors for rotors, discs, whatever you want to call them, for KTM and Husqvarna. So it's a very high quality product made in Europe. And it's an oversized, so it's a 270 millimeter. So that's the diameter of it, you know, across here. It's 270 millimeters and the stock ones are 260. So you get that mechanical advantage of the increased diameter of it. And also with that increased diameter, of course, the, the caliper has to be moved out. This being the caliper, so it has to be moved back just a little bit. And that's what this black bracket is all about. I'll get into that in just a minute. So, you know, a lot of products we carry come with a story. Customers recommended it and they gave me their story and I listened to it and researched it and yada, 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 and we bring it in. Or my own personal stories from when I'm riding out with my buddies. And this one is one of those. So last fall, I don't know, to back up from there, last uh, over a year ago, one of my vendors sent me a really nice, high quality, oversized front brake rotor kit. And he said, ah, it's really popular with our motocross and supercross guys, and I think you off-road guys would like it. And, well, long story short, it sat on my workbench for months and months and months, and I finally just sent it back and never even tested it. What a, what a dummy, I should have tested it. Anyhow, uh, last fall I put on a ride to raise some money for our trails, and uh, one of the guys there asked me to test ride his 300 two-stroke to see how the jetting felt. So I ripped it around a little bit on a dirt road. And, and uh, the first thing I noticed was not the jetting, but the front brake, how good it felt. It felt better than mine. And mine was in prime condition, had new pads, new rotor on it, new fluid. It was, it was working great, but the, his was working better. It felt better. Everything about it felt better. So I came back and my first time I was, wow, your front brake's better than mine, what'd you do? And he said, I put a 270 rotor kit on it. Well, his kit was, the one he had on there was about 300 bucks. This kit's only about uh, 150. Same quality. Uh, somebody's making a lot of money on that other kit. This one is a lot better value. But anyhow, even on a light two-stroke, I thought, the reason I sent that other one back is I thought there's no way in hell I need a stronger front brake on my 300 two-stroke. Uh, it stops great, works great. This is crazy, I'm not putting it on. Well, I was wrong. So what this 270 Galfa rotor kit does is just make the front brake feel better everywhere. It does not make it more touchy. It does not make it a light switch. It does not make it grabby. Um, it just makes it better. It just has, you know, uh, you know. I run the short uh, Midwest levers, and whenever you put on a short lever, you actually lose a little bit of brake power because you've lost some leverage. And I love those levers, and I'll continue to use them. But this brought it up uh, even past the stock lever feel. It just gave it a more more progressive feel. I have a better eyed feeling of when it's going to lock on me or how much I can squeeze it. It made it stronger everywhere, but not too strong. Um, and then, so I thought, well, if I love it on the 300, I'm gonna like it even more on the 500, because that big pig's kinda hard to stop sometimes. No offense, guys, I own a 500. Uh, so you guys who have 500s, or any of the big four strokes, 350, 450, 500, 501s, whatever they are, the great thing about them is the way they rock it out of a corner bad thing about them is getting them stopped at the next corner. So this really improved the 500. It helped the 300 a lot. It helped the 500 a lot more because uh, now I can stop this thing. So it comes with the rotor or the disc, whichever you prefer to call it. And then uh, the caliper carrier, which is that black piece right here. And I've got the bolts all loosened up here, so in just a second, I'll pull this thing out of there. 
And so you can see this black mounting bracket. The stock, this was a, a CNC machine billet aluminum. The stock went and it's black anodized. Then the stock one is a forged aluminum piece, you know, a weaker piece. And it requires that, that bracket because uh, this bracket has a little bit different offset to it. You know, it has to move the caliper out to the back side more to get it away from the disc because it's larger in diameter. So it's very easy to install. You know, there's the two bolts there that you just saw me remove. There's the six bolts that hold the rotor on. And then you kind of slide it onto these pins. It's very simple. There's no need for an installation video on that. Um, it also has a hole in it here for the magnetic pickup for the odometer. And it has a hole, uh, you can see it right there, right in here. That's uh, a pre-cut hole in the disc rotor for the magnet. So the magnet and then the pickup all are accommodated. You know, this thing is super easy to install. I probably installed it in five minutes. You know, it, it's super easy to install, works excellent. Reasonable price point. These are $150 for, this, for the kit. We've got them in stock. Great product. It's a no-brainer. That's all for now.